I'm here. Hello. Let me turn the music down. <laughs> Ooh, uh, hi. Oh, there you go. There you go. Now my AC is turned off. I don't want it on. Oh, oh no, I left snacks right next to me. That's terrible. Ada, Ada. 48. How much is that in month years? Four years. Wait. Four years. Four years, guys. That's four years, Gamma. That's four whole years. It's the real V. Hello. Hello, everyone. Welcome. Welcome. Okay, about two weeks, I think. Yes, just two weeks. Nothing but. Welcome to the stream. Welcome to the Chatty McChatterson hour. Welcome. Don't worry, I won't eat on stream. I'm going to actually move these away from myself. Or I will eat on stream. I don't really want to eat on stream. I'll eat in all your ears during Warlord's Night, but I won't do it on stream. Hello, PlayStation fan, 1994. Dang, 1994. That said I went here. Be denying your fans eating ASMR. No. You were in my recommended. Oh, dang, really? That's awesome. Thank you. Uh, I'm good. How are you? Amazing. Hello. We're, uh, I, I went to the, I was gonna babble about my adventures at Ren Fair. So, if you're into that kind of stuff, please hang around. And if you're not, that's okay. You can still hang around. I like chatting with people and hanging out. I'm in New Jersey Hotel as part of a four-day bus tour of four American cities. Oh, dang, and they put you in New Jersey? Damn. <laughs> that's rough. No pants for ten streams, what else could this mean? I, I'm not chewing. I'm not. I promise. I watched an entire anime in the journey. Amazing. What anime did you watch? I'm not eating. You don't hear any eating. Although I realized during Warlords that my mic doesn't pick up as much chewing sounds as I thought it did. So maybe I was paranoid for nothing. Sometimes it did. But I had to be like, right here. I'm going to like, Violin Olive Garden? Curse your noise gates. It took me a very long time to get the noise gates and everything all figured out. Plus, I have a Sure SM7B, so, like, it's a thirsty bitch. I have a cloud lifter and everything. I watched Violet Evergarden. Oh, my God. I'm so dumb. Why didn't I not pick up on that? That's one of my favorite anime. It's so good. I cried like a little wiener, though. I cried so much. <laughs> the anime made me sob like a wee baby. There was so much crying. It's one of my favorites, though. I wanted to read the light novels, but then, like, I don't read, so... As I look at Dune, half-ridden. Ridden? Rid, 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 Half-red? And I'm destroying Violet by making a comedy parody. Amazing. Yes. Yeah, so I went to Weird I also can't. No, I can read. I just make the active choice not to. You just can't read. We're not the same. Maybe you need the pressure of a library return. I know. Well, I mean, I didn't read it either. I need to, like, have time to sit and quietly get into the book. I don't have that. I heard Violet has that effect on people, TBH. Yeah, it's true. Have you... Hello, have you seen Violet Evergarden? Chewing on it for several moments. My god. Damn, bleach. I packed two large shipping barrels full of stuff. What? Oh, holo. You have to watch it. It's highly recommended. You will cry like wee babby. I haven't met anyone that hasn't cried during Violet Evergarden. Oh my god, bleach is a giant monkey. A gorilla, I believe they prefer to be called nowadays. Oh, yeah, that movie was good, too. I forgot about that movie. There you go. Hold on. My, my eye's doing that thing it does sometimes. Give me a moment. There you go. I think it's okay now. Yeah, so went to Ren Fair. I dressed up as a recovering cosplayer. I had to. I had to dress up. So I did. And it was amazing. 
And I, I only had to change my shoes like part way through. So I was pretty proud that I stayed in my shoes as long as I did. I will bang swish. Kiwiverse, who fund is your rent fair to a theme every weekend? It's not every weekend, um, but this weekend was cottage core. So I had like a I had like an cottage core type elf costume. I wore the elf ears. I had to I had to fold down the the, the wings to fit on the, the fake elf ears, but we did it. Did you cosplay as an actual Valkyrie? Oh man, that would have been cool, but they were like it was very, very hot. You're supposed to dress up as a cottage. Damn, you know, I didn't see any cottages. Not one cottage. That would have been funny. Why did no one do that? Um, it was very hot. It hit, it hit, I swear to God, it must have hit 90 degrees. I don't think my, like, the highest my phone said was 87. But I lost, like, uh, I lost signal for a long time during, like, the hottest part of the day. So I think, I, I feel like it definitely hit 90. <laughs> Does your run fair experience daily rain? No, there was no rain. I kind of wish there was. Although I was told by the people I went with that you don't want rain because everything's dirt and then everything turns into mud. Could have picked up hot nights off the battlefield, Sag. You would have had AC. Oh boy, if I had scars for a long time from the last time I wore a cosplay shoe, they made it a day before switching the comfy boots and pants under the skirt. So many questions. Hello, Mimo. Try looking for a green brooch necklace while I was in Quincy Market in Boston on my tour. Oh, nice. Also, ran out hot day just makes a human later. That's true. So I'm hearing you just need to pick up Kisu and you've got a mud pit right there. Yeah. I totally go to a run fair with Kisu. I would. With the fox. I'd go with the fox. But yeah, so we went. I was like, I drank four. So I, I had a liter bottle, like a one liter bottle of water with me. And I carried that around everywhere. And I drank four of those throughout the day. And then I still had an insanely painful headache at the end of the day. What a, a bottle of what a. And I still had an insane headache at the end of the day. I'm like, bruh. No, I'm so... So, like, I wanted to at least have, like, one drink. Because I had, like, a legit tavern there. Like, I wanted to go into the tavern. And I wanted to have one drink. And, like, that was going to be my thing. Because I didn't want to get drunk, obviously. Because that will, like, you know, the heat will murder you without the alcohol in your system. So, like, I didn't I didn't want to get drunk. Um, But I didn't even get that. I just... it There wasn't... I wasn't intaking enough water for me to even feel... Like, drinking would be a good idea. You ruined the immersion. You mean that? <laughs> you mean that ingredient for my actual drinks? Yeah. Just stop sweating. They did not have Baja Blast Mead. 35 ounces. That's a reasonable size of water bottle. Yeah, and I had I drank four of those. And then one on the way home. I only peed three times. <laughs> No, the people were, the people I was with, like, we got, they got so distracted that I kept trying to go get water that, like, I couldn't, I couldn't get to the bubblers to get, to get water. I have a track record of watching animal traveling. I previously watched another while on a road trip from Washington, D.C. to Myrtle Beach. Oh, I haven't seen that one. I drank a singular cup of water last night. Damn, bro, that's crazy. You should drink more of that bleach, especially if you're going to go out and keep touching grass. Yeah, it was very hot. I was like, and I had like a course. I had, I had a corset on. It's a bubbler. <laughs> it's a bubbler. Um, hello, Paladin. Yeah, I had like the corset on and like the double skirts and like the top and everything. And then so I'm like overheating, and I'm like trying not to. And then we're trying to find seats at the shows and like unless you get to the show like 45 minutes before the show is supposed to start, like you're not going to get a seat, let alone one that's like not in the sun. It was given to me. Like I, I, 
We found seats for this show that was like trained rats and cats. And we sat down and then like, I'm like, I realized then that I was sitting directly in sun. And then like, by the end of the show, I'm just like, I'm like, please be over. Please be over. Please be over. Because I was just dying of heat. Yo, the rat circus. I am here. Sorry if I pass out though. I'm, exa I'm exhausted from working out. Oh, that's fine. That's fine if you're sleepy. Take a sleep. I did not challenge anyone to an honorable deal. You will. Do you will. You could have sharpened blades there, but they had to be peace knotted, which I thought was kind of neat. Hello, Smol. I will big sip my tea. Oh, that's actually pretty good. I'm gonna have another sip of tea. I took the sunny spot so all the weak people don't suffer. It was fun. Although we were, um, we're all. Oh my god, I felt so bad. So like a lot of people, I had like a normal like quick trip bottle of water, right? Like I was, I, it was not an immersive bottle, bottle of water. It was just a normal bottle of water. And um, <laughs> so like so many people are walking around with like uh uh mead horns or like um like tin mugs or whatever you want to call them. Oh, Otter, thank you for the gift sub. <laughs> Thank you, thank you! Um, you know, or like the wooden, um, like, I don't, what are they called? Not, they're not beer, tankards, thank you. I'm like, they're not beer steins, what are they? Yes, they had, like, some had metal and wooden tankards, and then some people were, like, drinking out of, like, flasks that you would have for, like, an alchemy set and things like that. And I thought that was so cool! And I'm like, next year I'm gonna bring, because, like, you could go to any of the, like, the food concession stands, and, like, everyone would refill your cup up with water and ice for free. So, like, people are just getting refills in their tankers when they ordered food or just walk up to the stand and get refills in their tankers. And I thought that was so cool and I want to do that next year. But then we were, like, sitting. We were, like, sitting and we're watching a show. And it was, like, maybe, like, 3, 4 o'clock. So, like, it was start. It was just, just starting to cool down. But we were still, in like, we just got done with the hottest part of the day. And the show ends and we all, st and like, oh yeah. So like, I'm sitting there and we're like waiting for the show to start. And the, pe like the group next to me, cause I'm on the end. They're like, this guy's showing off this like brand new wooden tankard he just bought in one of the stands and like how shiny it was. And like the, the, the shopkeep like washed it for him. You know, with the shopkeep washed it for him so he could use it right away and like gave him care instructions and he was so he's already been drinking like water and, and like Corona out of it because Corona was the cheapest beer there for some reason. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. So he's like bragging about it and how cool it is and blah, 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 blah. So then we watch the show and like the show ends and we all get up to leave and he stands up and just passes out. Just passes the fuck out and lands right on the mug. And he got up. And I, and he's like, I'm fine, I'm fine. I just fell over. I tripped. And like and his friends were like, blah, 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 blah. I'm like and and then I was like, No, you passed out. Like that was a I'm like, you passed out. <laughs> that was not a trip. Yeah, so like luckily the first aid station was like literally like it was like the where we were sitting and then the wall and then there was a the first aid station. So like he was right there, but I was like, you need to go <laughs> to the first aid station because I know they have like ice and like cold water and stuff. But then he like picks up his little tankard from the ground and he had fallen on it and he snapped the handle clean off, just like snapped it. One whole piece just and it took like the whole side of it with it to like the whole you couldn't even use it as like a normal cup anymore i was so sad for him i felt bad for the guy i was like this is why i'm not drinking right here <laughs> this is why i didn't get any alcohol well it's crazy because water was five dollars and corona was six dollars i'm just saying <laughs> It wasn't that big of a stretch to get the corona. My friends took me out to a club last night, and when I went to the bathroom, someone left a half-drunken corona on the toilet. You did not drink it. Five dollars a month? What? Yeah, that happens, though. Some people don't learn. When passing out permanently due to heat exhaustion still gets you escorted 
passing out permanent? You mean dying from heat exhaustion? No, because you weren't in a battle. Battle with stupidity, maybe. Drinking alcohol in the heat just sounds awful. I know! I know, it does! I don't know how people do it. Although at one point I'm like, would I forget that I have a headache if I was too drunk to feel the headache? Like, it crossed my mind. <laughs> But they were fighting- they, no, they weren't actually- they weren't fighting the sun, they were existing the sun. You know? That does not work. Yeah. But. Well, and it was funny because, like, we had- we were standing in line for food and it was right next to the first aid station. And the door swung open for the first aid station I just kind of looked in and everyone was, like, sitting. And they had, um, huge, like, floor dryer fans, like, pointed at people. To keep them cool. And then, you know, it was like a shaded area. And then everyone had like a bottle of water and like a giant pickle. <laughs> so, so like people are just sitting there like zoning out looking completely miserable with like a bottle of water and a giant pickle. <laughs> I thought, pickles are really good for dehydration. Did you guys know that? They were selling, they were selling pickles at the Ren Fair. Uh, I got two of them when I got really bad headaches and I felt better afterwards because uh, they have a lot of salt and electrolytes in them. Pickles and then like cucumbers themselves are good for you. That's what I eat in the summer. I think it's a, yeah, salt's part of it. But yeah, so I got two pickles. <laughs> they were on sticks. It was so funny. Giant dill pickles on a stick. Yeah, so everyone was sitting with their bottle of water. The bo oh wah. Uh. And their and their pickle on a stick. <laughs> I'll just drink. Pe I mean, to be fair, pickles are a lot cheaper than Pedialyte. I did put pickle on a stick. I did, yeah. I ate two pickles on a stick. What else did I have? I had. I had the giant turkey leg, which was giant. It was the biggest turkey leg I've what? ever had. White Fang, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the meat hall. Thank you, thank you. Consume the pickle. Yeah. Yeah, consume the pickle. <laughs> I think your legs look fine. Pickles are great in big proportions. I love pickles. I, I, I'm one of those psychos that drink the pickle juice. I love pickles. Colossins are my favorite brand of pickles. I don't know if they're everywhere, though. Picklebacks are delicious. The vinegar gives you the trots. Pickles are the best. Still for me. Who hurt you? What do you mean who hurt me? Pickles are amazing. Who hurt you that you don't like pickles? Who hurt you? Get the Jimmy John's pickle and sell the chips. That's what I do. I always get the pickle and sell the chips. The chips are gross. I always pickle. I was taught the way of the pickle shot and I love it. Yes, the pickle shots are supreme. I like the giant ones. You get the Renaissance Festival. That's literally what we were talking about. I got two pickles at the Renaissance Festival yesterday. <laughs> they helped with my dehydration. Hell yeah. <laughs> I was telling them that the first aid station had people with like, like the, the heat stroke people were like sitting there with like a bottle of water and like a pickle. <laughs> I found some that you can get in a store. Amazing. I really, I like making homemade pickles, but I don't ever have a container big enough to just have like giant whole pickles. I guess I could get a bucket, but you can't can a bucket because they're a bucket. They're, they're a whole ass bucket. You know what I'm saying? I can make mead in a whole ass bucket though. I still have to make mead. Just do a few in a jar. Painter's bucket. Oh, could you use that? Very many much jars. Just two pickles per jar. Pickles are nice because you don't have to, um, what's it called? What's it called? What's it called? What's it called? Pasteurize. You don't have to pasteurize pickles. Or tomatoes. I'm sure Costco would have five gallons of pickles. Well, that's where I got the big jar of Colossan pickles. It's not five gallons. Um, it's like less than one gallon. But more than a half a gallon. 
Maybe it's a Wayman thing. I don't know. There's a lot of men. There's a lot of men in the chat right now that are standing some pickles. We have many a pickle stand in this chat right now. Yeah, pickles good. Yeah. Yeah. Look at all these pickle stands. Pickle stands. Pickle stands. Pickle stands. Pickles based. Yeah, so I had two giant pickles. I had the giant turkey leg, which was huge. Two people could have eaten that thing. Like, it was the most expensive thing I bought food-wise. Was the pickle. No, was the turkey leg. But it was really good. Because, like, normally when I get turkey legs from, like, the fair and stuff, they're really, really dry. And they're horrible to eat. And, like, they make me want, like, they, I, you know, like, normally I feel more dehydrated after eating it. Doesn't it taste more like ham, or is that just me? Well, this one didn't. Well, no, this one didn't. I know what you mean, though. It's got, like, a dried taste, like jerky. I'm kind of sad I didn't get the jerky. I kind of wanted to get jerky. But the lines were always so long for the jerky. I didn't get the jerky. I don't know. Well, see, like, normally they're all dried to shit, so, like, I can barely eat them, and they don't really have any taste. This one had flavor. And it was actually becoming a problem because it was so, so juicy. It was literally leaking like all over my hands and like down my arms. I'm, I'm like, <laughs> just, like sucking on the leg. <laughs> it was, it was a problem. And like my little, because you know they give you like a little cardboard boat thing to like tray to like put it on. Like it literally like buckled because it just got so soaked with turkey juice. So like it was, it would turn into more of like a napkin, really, <laughs> than than, a, than any actual kind of like food holding device. And then like, how big was the leg? Um, I have a picture of it. Hold on, give me a moment. Hold on, hold on. I think I might have. Did I share a picture of the turkey leg? I did not. Okay, give me a moment. I I will show you guys. A pic I have a picture of the turkey leg. Let me just locate it quickly. Ah, there you are, turkey leg. It was massive. It makes my hands look so small in the picture. Hold on, just just accessing turkey leg files. Accessing turkey leg files. Accessing, accessing, accessing. We're gonna have <laughs> we're gonna have a big turkey leg turkey leg jump scare in three, <laughs> two, one. Turkey leg. <laughs> what evil evil oh evil Thai tycoon? Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the meetle. I thought. I thought that's an evil titty coon. <laughs> I was gonna read evil titty coon. I had to stop myself. All right. Anyway, this is the turkey leg. I'm now a turkey leg VTuber. This is it. So this is my hand right here. And then this is the turkey leg. Oh, yeah. Then the 55 gallon barrel. Yeah. So, yeah. Oops, that's not that's not what I want. That's my jerky leg. Name's Tycoon. Thank you. I will call you Tycoon. <laughs> Thank you for letting me know. Yeah, it was a, it was very difficult to eat. It was a difficult turkey leg to consume. Yeah, it was heavy too. Like I was struggling the quality pick of that turkey leg is crazy. It was fantastic lighting, I will tell you that much. But, like, trying to juggle that while getting, like, my money back into my bag and, like, not drop it and, like, take the picture and, like, <laughs> try to move out of people's ways. There was a pretzel guy selling... Oh, yeah, I got a pretzel, too. There was a guy with, like, a stick. Like, a big stick. I don't know how many people have gone to a run fair before. This is my first, like, legitimate run fair. Um, he had a stick. Like, a really long stick. And it had, like... Six, six spokes, eight spokes. 
eight spokes, I think. So like, you know, two coming off each side, four down. And are you Monkey D. Luffy? Yes. Um, and they're all full of pretzels. They're full of pretzels, just like stuffed on there. So like you gave them, you gave them money and you can just grab a pretzel. They didn't have turkey at medieval times because that's a new world bird. <laughs> and you got us pretzels. I did not get you pretzels. It was, uh, and then you could, you could pay extra for cheese sauce, but I don't like cheese sauce on pretzels anyway. So like, I'm good to go on that. Kind of, not like a coat rack. Like, like, you know, you have your, your bar going straight up and then there would be like one at the top, one, you know, like six inches down, one more six inches down, one more six inches down or whatever. And they go, you know, down on one side and then down on the other side. You know what I mean? It's not like a coat rack where there's like four at the top, four spindles at the top. Nah, Commissar, why do you always have terrible taste in food? What's up with that? Evil Biddy, that's a new one. Like a TV roof antenna? No, not like a TV roof antenna. They go down the thing. I guess kind of. Here, let me see if I can find a picture. I gotta have, I gotta have a picture of it somewhere. Like this. All these are significantly cheaper. I'm sad about that. <laughs> It's okay. It's okay. I spent so much money on food. <laughs> Alright, it's like this. It's like this. It's like this. Where is it? Alright, pretzel jump scare in three, two, one. That. Like that. It's just like a stick. The sticks on it. It's me. Hello, Meow Mix. Yeah, so that's the pretzel. So, like, he just carried that around everywhere. I was like yelling about pretzels. An ugly coat rack. I could eat that whole thing. I know, I love pretzels. It took everything in me not to like get like 900 pretzels because I love pretzels so much. I could have easily blown all the money I brought along on pretzels. The one I went to was, it was $4 a pretzel. It wasn't $2 a pretzel. It was literally twice as much for pretzel. It was sad. Sad pretzel hours. But you didn't, you coward. It was $4 a pretzel! $4! They did not have mustard, only cheese. From the great, from the great, <laughs> from the great land of lakes cheesery. <laughs> That's what they called it. If you know, you know. If you know, you know. But, uh, yeah. So I got pretzels. I got pickles. I got a tur uh, I did get a chicken thigh and leg. I didn't take a picture of that, though. Because I was just, like, barbecue chicken thigh. I wanted to get a meat pie, but the lines for the meat pies were really, 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 really long. Um, what else did I get? I think that was it for food. Oh, I got, like, ice cream, like, a crepe ice cream. And I thought I was going to get, like, one of the cute ones you get in, like, Japanese anime. And it was not. It was not. It was a paper plate with, like, a big hunk and scoop of ice cream on it. And then they just slapped a crepe on top. <laughs> and then buried it in, like, five gallons of whipped cream. Which, honestly, like, I was really hot. So it kind of hit the spot. I was worried that having, like, dairy... After having heat, like, while actively having a heat stroke would be bad. But the ice cream helped a lot, so. Oh my god, and I stole someone's ice chips. <laughs> That's a, I cannot express to you how desperate I was for, like, hydration. <laughs> like, we sat down to eat, I had my turkey leg, and the turkey leg was just, like, oozing, oozing fluids, right? And then, so, like, I'm getting covered in it everywhere. And, like, I, I'm, we're sitting at this table. And there's this other, like, cute little couple at the table in their little corner. And, like, I'm struggle busting with mine, right? And uh, I'm like, man, I really wish that I had, like, wet wipes or, like, literally more than one tiny napkin. And she's like, oh, here. Like, I always get, like, I always ask for, like, a cup of ice. 
and then I just use the ice to wash my hands. And I'm like, oh, that's that's super smart. So like I, I got a cup of so she gave me like some of her ice and I washed my hands, which was nice. But then she like the her and her boyfriend get up to leave. And they're like, if you want the ice, you can have it since you guys are still eating. And, like, they left it there. And I was, like, eyeballing the shit out of it. <laughs> and, like, all my other friends are, like, they're eating their food. And I just, like, snatch it real fast. And I just, like, dump it in my mouth. <laughs> I was so thirsty. I was eating that turkey, like, with no liquid. They have a jester there that did tricks. I didn't see one, but that doesn't mean there wasn't one. It was huge. Um, I did. There was a guy with a butterfly, though. Um, let me see if I have. Do you have a video of that? I think I just have pictures of that. No, that's the joust. Hold on a minute. I was. I should have prepped with pictures and stuff, but I didn't. I wasn't gonna. I wasn't planning on showing pictures, but. Maybe I'll just post them on, uh, you know what? I'll post them on Twitter and Facebook later is what I'll do. Um, but there's this guy dressed up as a clown and he had like a giant butterfly, like on a harness on his shoulders and it was huge. It was a huge, 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 huge butterfly. And then like, so he like moved and it flapped its wings slowly. It was, very, it was kind of like almost like an animatronic type thing. Like not, but almost, almost. It was very manual, you know. Like he had to move it, but it was very cool. Yeah, it was so cool. I'll I'll uh, I'll find the video of it and I'll I'll post it on my my socials. It was very neat. And then he kept like he kept making jokes. He's like he because he, he was just like a caterpillar and he had like all these little hands and stuff. So he had like he's literally dressed as like a clown kind of caterpillar, and like people are like, oh, that's a cool butterfly. He goes, thanks, that's my mom. <laughs> And then he's like, he's like, he's like, I support her. And I was like, oh my God. And then he's like, he's like, but she, but she, she's kind of a hover mother. She hovers. He's like, it's a complicated relationship. <laughs> it was so funny. He was a very funny guy. There's a store that sold stuff like that last time I went, but they were, but they were fairy dragons. Oh, I didn't see anything like that. This one was huge. Like, it, the butterfly was bigger than me. So if, like, I laid down, the butterfly could have completely covered the top of me. It was huge. Massive. I was probably about, like, nine feet up, maybe. Yeah, probably, like, nine feet. Maybe a little, maybe ten. Because it was, like, above the crowd. Flying. Flying around. It was very cool. Yeah, it was huge. It was not small. It was a large, a large butterfly. That was the first thing I saw because at the end there's like a, like an ending ceremony, quote unquote, where it's like a drum. I can't remember what they called it. Not a drum line, but like a drum. Like everyone got in a circle and then there's a couple people that like banged on drums really, really hard and like, you know, kind of like, and then like people would like dance around them. Kind of, you know, kind of like a Viking witch doctor culty kind of thing going on. Oh, hello. And then what else? The I'm trying not to talk about the joust because I wanted to save the joust for after the ad because <laughs> I didn't want to get cut off in the middle. Um, let's see. We saw the cat and rat circus. Um, Cirque de Sewer, which was really cool. Um, I believe they were on America's Got Talent. If you want to look them up, um. But it was cats or yeah, it was cat and rats. She trained as cats and rats. Um, they went. Uh, hold on, let me look up the rats' names again. One cat's name was Schrodinger because she said she doesn't know if he's gonna do the trick or not until he's on stage. And then the other cat's name was Sputnik because he circled her feet and she didn't want him there. Um. I'm going to see if I can find their rats' names because they're really funny. Come on, give me the rats' names. One of the cats was like a world record holder for the longest jump. 
Hold on, hold on, hold on. How could they not have the names of the animals? Okay, hold on. Gallery? Maybe she has a picture of her... Of her rats? No, there's no, like, alt text. Curses. Truly cursed. Well, I know one's name was tuberculosis, and the other one's name was pox. I, th I think, I think I could be wrong. I think it, the other one's name was polio. I think. <laughs> Ebgers, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the meat hall. I'm not entirely sure if you are not a bot or not. <laughs> That's a very bot name. Good names for rats. Did polio not move or something? No, they all moved. <laughs> Pot zero 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 zero. That looks like, I don't know, that looks like a keyboard smash. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. It could be a normal person. But. <laughs> I can't tag them and call them a bitch. I'm going to guess, but we'll, we'll wait and see. We'll wait and see. Not like that one time Dev had a bot. Well, no, it wasn't a bot. It was just trying, it was just someone trying to sell him commissions and he was so excited that they followed him and then like, they're like trying to do the little spiel and I'm like, aww, <laughs> that's so sad. Oh, pot zero 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 was a horse. Oh, I see. But yeah, she did train. Well, uh, she she has cats, and they do tricks for chicken. So they uh jump for chicken, and they spin for chicken. Time for everyone's favorite new follower game. Is it a bot or just finish? Pot eight O's. Oh, I get it now. Damn. The guy putting names on stalls took the name literally. Amazing. Kato Bros! Hello, welcome. He told the name was potatoes, but the guy I heard wrong and told it was eight O's. Oh my god. Holy shit. That's amazing. He typed in chat, but I'm not ruling out bot. Oh, did he? I missed it. What did he say? <laughs> uh, Katie O'Brien, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the meat hall. Um, yeah, so then, like, the rats did a little, like, circus, like, a little, um, I didn't take a video of it, but they did a little obstacle course, and they raised a teeny tiny little, itty bitty little American flag, and it was adorable <laughs> at the end. Um, but yeah, the cats will do, like, uh, I, I use the, I use the term trick with the cats kind of loosely. I think she does too, because, like I said, they'll do stuff for chicken. But it's not like a dog where you're, like, sit, and the dog sits, and then, like, waits for a treat. Like, the cat would only do it if it felt like it, and then also had chicken. You know what I'm saying? I gotta see if this person is a bot. Sorry, Goose! Damn, the moderator has to work. B, he asks if you love God. Which God? Oh, my cat requires payment up front and might not even deliver. Typical Twitter artist, let's be honest. Cats are just Twitter artists. <laughs> Such is life. I think now's a great time to get into religion live on Twitch. <laughs> right now. I'm sure he's just trying to, like, if it's not a bot and it's just a troll, he's just trying to trigger people into being like, Me! God! <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Oh no, I'm okay. Right now. Um, what else? I'm trying to think. Um, we saw. But he really likes Donkey Kong. Oh, this is Bleach's fault. Because we brought up Donkey Kong. Thanks, Bleach. 
because he packed barrels up. Normally they're just selling more bots or art that's just templates of sports team logos. They're not even selling those. They just stole the picture from somewhere. I do what I can. Donkey Konga. Bum bum bum. I'm trying to think of what else we saw. We saw Mooney, who's a... I think he's a mime. Um, That was a super funny show. And I'm trying to like... I'm trying to like... Explain it without just like recounting the entire the entire show but he's like a mime but instead of like being dead silent and just like pantomiming actions he whistles but he like whistles the tones for the words if that makes sense so like you know how people are like get ready like he'll whistle that like you know i can't whistle so i can't i can't copy it but like and then he was like Someone was, like, laughing too loud for him or something, and then he started, like, smack-talking them. <laughs> like, he started smack-talking them with the whistles. Chickens can't whistle. You're so right. Yeah, I can't whistle. It makes sense. Um, angry bird noises. Yeah. Like, and then he'd, like, snap, whistle, snap, whistle, snap, whistle, snap, whistle, like, trying to get people's attention. But then at one point, um, he, he had someone come up on stage and he like smacked the guy and then like, like dropped down to a knee and did like a, a muscle man pose. And then like the guy was supposed to copy, right? So then the guy went down into the muscle man pose and then, and then the Mooney like shook his head and stood back up and then like smacked the guy and then went into the muscle man pose. And then the guy went into the muscle man pose and Mooney was like, no, no, no you know, with the head shake, gets up, smacks the guy, gets in the muscle man. And they did this for, like, seven or eight times. Like, there is a long period of just slapping and getting down in the muscle man pose. And, like, everyone's laughing. And then Mooney looks directly at the crowd, stands up, points at the crowd, and goes, shut up. Do not tell him. <laughs> just that was the first time he talked during the entire show was shut up do not tell him it was so funny it was amazing he, like he broke character to make this guy suffer it was so funny I'm trying to think of like or like uh he he was trying to he was trying to do a trick and he kept messing it up. <laughs> and it's like everyone was like laughing and he just like he just looked at us and then whistles and then does the you know where you like you like put your arm, you put your you like drop your arm into your elbow with and then your other arm comes up, you know, that that gesture. You know what I mean? I'm doing it. You can't see it cuz my arms don't work, but it's happening. I like whistled super loudly. It was really funny. I feel like that's one of those things you have to be there to think it's funny, but I thought it was funny. There we go. Boom. I didn't see I didn't get to see the fire whip show, which was kind of a bummer. I would have liked to see the fire whip show, but that's okay. And then what else? There was the joust. Um I feel like I went to more. Oh, we saw Tiny Girl Big Show. I really liked her. Um, she's a cord. Um, she is a contortionist. Um, oh, uh, you saw Fubi. I know. No, this definitely wasn't Fubi. She was very nice and sweet. She was very. Su she was sweet. <laughs> She's very cute, and she uh she shot a bow with her feet while like flipped halfway upside down. So that was really impressive. Um, I would definitely check her out. Like I recommend checking her out. She's very cool. Um, God, I feel like we saw more shows than that. We were th we were there literally all day because we had to wake up at the butt crack of dawn, the butt crack of dawn to drive all the way there. So we were staying all day. Because your trip cannot be more than the drive. That's that's just Midwest rules. If you're going to drive, the trip has to last longer. Like, the thing you do has to last longer than the total drive. 
So we had to be there all day. There was no in between. <laughs> Them's the rules. I always use them. See? <laughs> so if it's a three hour drive one way, that's six hours total. And then you have to, so you have to stay at least seven hours. Per the Midwest Ten Commandments. Like, it's fine to drive that far, but you have to be there longer than the drive time. That's how it is. So we were there all day long. Literally breakfast, lunch, and dinner. We're eating there. And we still missed the opening ceremonies. I was so sad. So sad. I really want to see the opening ceremonies. We missed it. But crack of dawn was not early enough, apparently. I think it was kind of my fault because I... I... I had to put on makeup and stuff and then get dressed and like I had a, a you know like comparatively to my other costumes I have made this one was simple it was a simple costume but compared to like normal people clothing it was not a simple <laughs> it was not simple no I I don't like being I don't like mornings like nine ten o'clock is that sweet spot for like my most productive so I like I'd like if I could like, perfect world. I'd like to get up at, like, 8.30. Maybe. And then, like, have a couple... Maybe, maybe, maybe 8. Maybe. And then... The king's procession marching in. Yeah, it's... Well, they... So, they have a queen. There was no king. They have a queen Elizabeth. I know very few morning people. My coworker friend is one of them. I don't... Yeah, I don't know how people do it. I don't like it. I just want to sleep in. Like, I hate work. And then because I've been, like, I've been on this schedule for so long, like, my weekends, I don't sleep in on my weekends either. My body just doesn't want to. Which is truly devastating. I will be honest. So it wasn't incredibly, it wasn't too hard to get up at butt crack of dawn. Um, been lost in caffeine. So, yeah, so I, I had to, it took me a while to get my, my outfit on. And then I was wearing heels, so we had to, like, st I'd stumble around, and then, you know, you have to go to the bathroom before you leave. And then we had to stop and get snacks, as one does. You know. Snackies. Yeah. And then I didn't even get snacks, because, so, like, the other people I was with had, were they were sort of dressed up. Right? They weren't like, like, I went a whole nine yards. I had the ears, I had the jewelry, I had the belt, the, the outfit, the makeup, the, the hair was done. Like, full nine yards. The other people I was with were like, I have a wizard cloak from Walmart that I'm going to wear. And a foam axe, you know? Like, that was their level of dressing up. So, like, when we went to get snacks at the gas station they simply left their things in the car and wore their normal people clothes into the gas station i however could not do that i couldn't even take the ears off because i had like made my hair so that they kind of covered the ears to make them look more like natural and stuff and they like you couldn't remove it without like messing up the hair so i had to straight go in like full elf girl into this gas station. No, I didn't even... I don't know. I didn't talk to the cashier. I was going to get snackies. And then I realized what kind of situation I was in. And I decided to just leave. I didn't get anything. <laughs> I went in and left. I went in there like that for no reason whatsoever. Zero reason. Not, not one second of that was necessary for me to do. I did. I was like, oh, I look stupid. <laughs> It's one thing if you're, like, like, if you're at an anime convention or something and you go to, like, a gas station or something near the anime convention, like, normally the employees know what's going on, right? Because everyone and their mother is in, like, weird costumes. Waste of a disguise. Saw an elf and has a story to tell. You should have talked in an old English accent, too. Bro, no, that's... Do you know how many people that are, like that were there with their friends and like just talking amongst themselves with with like the accent with like that high fantasy accent like they were talking to each other that way 
It's crazy. I was like, dang, these people stay in character even when they're like amongst their friends. That was nuts. I was like, that's commitment. That's great. It's a lot of Templars too. A lot of Templar knights in like full armor. And then this one guy scared the shit out of me because I think he worked at one of the stands where there's like a costume stand and they were selling like tunics and cloaks and vests and like, uh, the, I can't, gam gambesons? Gambesons? The padding you wear under plate. Um, they are selling like all that kind of stuff. And then there was a dude in like full plate like standing amongst the mannequins. Right? And like he had like a helmet on and stuff so you really couldn't see into the helmet. So like we're walking past it and then he like shifted. And like I looked and I just saw eyes through like the slits in his helmet because we were at like the same height. I was like, oh my god. <laughs> it scared the shit out of me. Hello, loud <laughs> I picked out some convenience store employees on my way to a Halloween party. Had full Roberta cosplay on, wig and all. Damn. Templar smelled an elf. Oh no, I didn't even think about that. I was like, whoa. <laughs> I was also shocked at how long I was able to keep the, the heels on without, without taking them off. They lasted a lot longer than I really... I really thought I would. I thought I'd like, cause I brought my like, <laughs> they're like knockoff Birkenstocks. You know, like those really, I don't wanna, those, those really flat, um, kind of ugly leather sandals that, um, what's being swear? <laughs> I had like a knockoff pair of those that I got from Hobby Lobby. <laughs> and they're like some of the comfiest shoes I've ever had. Oh, you had Jesus sandals. Yeah, they were Jesus sandals. So I, I, I had those along. And so those were like my backup shoes. But then, so I'm walking around in my heels. Everything's fine. And then all of a sudden, like, it like... I'm sure most of you don't understand. But in case you do. So when you get heels, like high heels. Now, granted, these were boots. So it was only, it was only a three-inch heel. Right? Um... The the bottoms of them wear down. <laughs> Robin Philly, and thank you for the follow. Welcome to the meat hall. Welcome, welcome. To anime unacceptable chamber shotgun. Um, they're they're meant to wear down, like the heels are a little bit, because that makes it um that's part of breaking them in, because it makes them easier to like grip the ground, so you don't break your neck, right? But if you if they wear the wrong way, they can break your ankle because you're not walking straight anymore. And unfortunately, at some point, somehow, my my right foot, like, the, the heel had worn down unevenly. Because, I mean, they're not the most expensive shoes, so the heels weren't really holding up like they should have. Um, So, like, as I'm walking, like, my ankle is, like, rolling over and over and over and over and over and over and over again. I was like, okay, I think I gotta stop. <laughs> I gotta stop and swap shoes. So I put on my Jesus sandals and we're walking around and all of a sudden I'm like, it feels like there's something like in my shoe. And so I'm like trying to like kick it because you know how like sandals are, you can kind of kick the rocks out with like inertia. So I'm like trying to kick it out and like it's not coming off, it's not coming out, it's not coming out. I'm like, what the hell is going on? So I take my, I stop again. I take my shoe off and I look and like, you know, the bottom that your foot touches, there's like a bump. And I'm like, what the heck? And I'm, like, picking at it, and it's almost like the there's a rock between, like, the sole and the fabric that goes on top that your foot touches. I'm like, what? How did that happen? I'm like, the, the fabric's all glued down. What the heck? So I flip the shoe over, and the sharp-ass rock has shoved its way through the sole of my sandal all the way through to the point where it's shoving the, the, the fabric up by, like, a quarter of an inch. How it didn't cut through that fabric, I have no idea. It literally embedded itself in my shoe. I could have been so that that it would have absolutely cut my foot. I don't know how it didn't. I don't know how it didn't like slice my foot open. Cause that that would have I would have been done. I think. Shah druid caltrops. Cause it like where it was was like that spot. Like, on the outside of your foot, like, right before your heel. That spot right there. Like, where you put, like, a good chunk of your weight down on. That was where it was. And I think, I'm like, if I would have cut my foot there, like, with that rock, I think I would have been done for the day. I don't think I'd be able to walk much on it anymore.
My boots and a nail. I'm I'm lucky I've never stepped on a nail. I kind of don't know how that hasn't happened before. Just have someone carry you? No, that's okay. <laughs> All right, we're going to go in and add in 20 seconds. Um, and then we're going to talk about the joust. So um, I'm going to hang out with you guys, though. We just won't talk about anything too crazy. No joust. But when... When the ad people return, we shall speak of the joust. I'm very excited. That's my favorite part of the run fair. Nails are so annoying. Don't do it. Yeah, I don't think I would want to have a nail in my shoe. I think we should talk shit about the ad people. Nah, Beaver's already got a sub, so we can't talk shit about the ad people because he'll hear it. Kitsy would have carried you. Right, I know. Wow, <laughs> Beaver, fuck you. Okay, well, okay, now that we're on ad, let's just make fun of Beaver. Unfortunately, he's here to hear it. Normally, he's not here when we make fun of Beaver when we go on ads, but he's just going to have to listen, I suppose. Um, yeah, so he stopped, like, the flow of water, which is disruptive to uh, to farmers and, and people that need water, and that's kind of like it's... Like, his only use, right, is being dead so that people can wear his fur. Right? Like, that's his only use, is being dead. Aw, F. Oh, no! <laughs> Hollow's gonna miss it! No! <laughs> okay, actually, now that Hollow Point isn't here, you can't hear this, but... Um, do you guys know what Sock Company, Socks VTuber Agency? They had a uh, camisole recently debut. Um, for you don't know, for those who don't know, uh, that is the VTuber company ran by Flork. Yep. Okay. Hollow, Hollow Point Art, right there in our chat, actually did the rigging for camisole. So if everyone could go like, yay, Hollow in the chat and freak him out, that'd be amazing. Um, so if you watch her and you really like her movements and everything, Hollow, Hollow was the one that did the work on that, and it looks so good. Yay, Hollow, yay! Everyone tell me did a really good job. Why did you say that? Well? Everyone tell me did a good job. <laughs> now he's going to have to go back and look at the box. He's gonna be like, what the fuck? <laughs> Chaos. What the fuck is that? Yeah. Um, and he did, so the mouth forms on that model, he did like a really crazy mouth form, um, like sheet. So he said he put a lot of time and energy into that. So a very tedious process, but very quality work. So definitely high quality work. So. <laughs> Fear. <laughs> Bleach, it doesn't work when everyone else is telling him good job. <laughs> but yeah, so very cool. Very cool member of the community doing something amazing. <laughs> Committed to the bit, fuck you. <laughs> and five on. He's panicking, dude. He's counting down. <laughs> Okay, okay, when the ad stops, we're just going to go straight into the joust. We're not going to talk it anymore. We're going to talk like nothing happened, okay? Like, absolutely nothing happened. We're not going to mention it. We're not going to talk to him about it. We're just going to act like nothing happened, okay? Okay? All right. We're going to go straight into the joust. I don't remember all the jousters' names. I'm going to look up. I'm going to see if I can find the the... The... Joust. The Joustess. Trying to find all their names. Oh, they have a Facebook page with the horses! I'm following them. They have the Facebook page with the horses! Get videos of the horses! I'm so happy with the horses! Alright, let me do they have a list? Okay. Do they have the list? Oh my god, they have like, a, they have, they all have Facebook pages. That's Okay, so anyway, so I saw a joust. And there's horsies. Oh my god, there's horsies. I'm so happy there's horsies. 
That guy is not the guy that was the blue knight last time. These guys are none of the knights. What the heck? <laughs> what is this end of Eva? Yeah, so like basically, I don't know if anyone's been to like a joust where it's like, um, like obviously it's not real, right? But it is real because there's horsies. And, and they came out and it was really exciting. I'm trying to find some cool pictures. Um, but then they had this big dude, and it was Sir Maxwell, I think. I was hoping I could have their, like, um, oh, maybe it's on their website. We heard, there was blood, though! There was! There was blood. Here, the team. Alright, so there's Sir Edgerin, who was talking a ton of shit. Like, literally shit-talking the entire time. Like, he's like, this guy should lose points because he's ugly and his mustache sucks. Like, he said it more in character. But that was essentially what he said. What a name for all of us. And then, no, no, that was the guy's name. And then there's Don Viencio. Which is really funny because, because, um... Oh, no, they didn't do that this time. Unfortunately, with, like, the very last joust, I, I didn't get a good spot um, because we got there late because I was getting ice cream. <laughs> so we got there late, so I couldn't really... I didn't get, like, the best spot. It was really close um, to the... It was really close to the railing, but I couldn't... You couldn't hear much from where we were. There's Sir Larison. Show more. Dame Freya. Oh, she wasn't there. She's cool. Square Oliver. Square Garrett. Oh, that's right. So, Sir, 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 Sir. Hold on. So, so Sir Edgeron's talking like mad shit, right? And he lost his joust. So then, like, Squire Garrett went to go, went to go, like, take his lands from him. And he slapped him with, like, the back of his hand. Just, like, smack because he didn't want to lose, right? So he just like smacked him and he fell to the ground. It was super dramatic. And then and then when the other jester's was like, why are you being a dick? And <laughs> Sir Edgelord got owned. It's true. Ah, so yeah, Sir Maximilian is this. So Sir Max, I'm sorry, I'll finish my story. I'm, this is, mm, there's too much to say. They like fighting. Um. So Sir Edgeron like smack the dude and then when the other jousters got off his horse was like this is an honorable <laughs> and then and then sir edgeron got off his horse and then they were like fist fighting and then like one fell to the ground and then they like drug him off the stage and then they were like yelling and there's craziness i feel like i'm missing somebody where's the green guy oh that must be this guy Photo of Willie Stark. Oh, like ye old hockey. Yeah, that happened a couple times where they started fist fighting. Oh my god, if it's the same Maximilian guy. No, uh, the Maximilian guy looks like he um belongs. He looks like the guy from Con Air, the big guy. He's in a bunch of other movies too. Um, what's his name? <laughs> With the forehead. Wait, maybe he wasn't in Con Air. I swear he was in Con Air. Not, not Nicolas Cage. Hold on a minute. Okay, I know he was in Season of the Witch. He was in Season of the Witch with Nicolas Cage. Those two are revived together, apparently. Dolph? Hold on, let me find it. Ron Perlman. He looks like Ron Perlman. But, like, with less of a jaw. Like, if John Perlman had a normal person jawline. Never heard of him. If you saw a picture of him, you would know him. Just Google him. Like, if you saw him, you'd be like, oh, yeah. Hellboy! I never watched Hellboy. They spell it ye because old timey days, the sound didn't have any letters in Latin, so they used Y. Oh, I didn't know that. But yeah, so he looks at that, and he's like, really? He's a huge dude, and then he's in full plate, and then his, his horse, he had like this huge black horse, 
and you know they had the full like standard um uh, what's it called oh my gosh my brain's not working what's the huge blanket on a knight's horse called have a good night goose comparison a huge comparison. You had the huge black comparison, like the black and gold. I mean, he looked like he just, he just, he was a statement. He was a statement piece. I thought oh, the picture on Twitter is, is him. The picture I post on Twitter is that guy. Actually, I think I have a better picture on Facebook. Hold on. Let me find the picture I posted on Facebook. It was significantly better. Oh, that's my old meme page. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Save image as. Give me a second. Give me a second. All right. Walmart Ron Perlman jump scare in three, two, one. Lorge. Yeah, look at that. Look at that haunts. Whoa. No, stop that. No, stop that. There you go. Trying to bring it in here. Yeah, that, that's him. That's him on his haunts. I loved his band. I didn't hear him banter too much. It was always the blue guy. Lord Edgelord. They all had the big puffs on the tops of their heads. They all had that. Oh, it's Ron Perlman and Tomoe. The horses are so cute. I loved all of them. I wanted to pet them. There was uh there was someone dressed as like a mushroom with like a big dandelion fluff. And uh the one of the horses like leaned across the uh leaned across the railing to try to eat the dandelion fluff is really funny. But yeah, so the, the jousting was cool. It wasn't as hard hitting as full metal jousting, though. Oh, yeah, no, it was a lion. If he got overly excited, he would raise the pitch of his voice like a girl, really? I was really sad because he did do some banter, like, in the, the last show. But I was at the opposite end of the field, so, like, I really couldn't hear it because... The, the, um, Lord, Lord Edgelord. I can't get that out of my head now. Um, Sir Edgeron could really project his voice. Like, he is so good. He could be at one end of the field and, like, be yelling and, like, you could hear him very clearly on the other end of the field. Like, he was so good at projecting his voice. It was very... Im that was the most impressive thing. That's why I heard all of his banter was because you could hear him so clearly. And then the green guy, someone, like, this girl, like, hopped the railing to give him a flower, and then he, like, took it and kissed her hand and then, like, put it in his teeth, and then security had to, like, chase her off the field. <laughs> but he, like, he, like, trotted around with the flower in his teeth. It was very belligerent. It was very belligerent. Ooh, he studied classical writing in France. Groundlet's still loose to this day. It was kind of nice because security seemed pretty chill. Like, you know, they didn't let people do stuff they weren't supposed to be doing. But, like, um... But, but like, they didn't, you know, but they weren't like, get the hell out of here. We're going to kick you out. We're going to call the police. Blah, 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 blah. You know, they just knew people were, like, trying to have fun. No, so security were, like, the only people, the only employees that weren't in costume. They, like, had full on, like, they had, like, bright red shirts. And they, like, had, like, an armband that said, like, security. And they all had hats that said security. And then, like, if there was, like, a group of them that were, like standing around for some reason like they were watching an event like the the ones with the jousting like they had a little like position they stayed in um that was like a big red security flag well i think i think that's so people can find them easily 
Makes sense. Need to be able to find them. Yeah, like you don't want to start looking for you don't want to start looking through nights in a bunch of nights to get to security. It's really funny though because there were like actors like in that were like mingling among people, you know. So like at one point like we're walking around and all of a sudden people started like sh like yelling and like fighting, and I was like, oh oh shit, like oh no, like this is a legit fight. And then they whipped out their swords and I was like, what? And then they were like sword fighting. And like someone did like a flipping stuff, and then I'm like, oh, someone. And then someone in my group was like, it's just an act, it's fine, because I was like freaking the fuck out. <laughs> and then like at one point, like a game just started, like people were kicking a watermelon around, like it was a soccer ball. And then like they were like pulling other people into it. I was like, it became this thing. Watermelon ball. It was crazy. But yeah, so that was neat how they would just like randomly have like, um, what do they call that in video games? Random events? But it was like real life and not a video game. It was like a real life special event. Isn't that crazy? Isn't that nuts? I'm just excited they have a Facebook page that they post on and they post pictures of their horsies. Emergent gameplay. <laughs> Literally the best. New quest kickballs. There are so many good costumes too. Like I was, uh, because we were driving down there, and someone's like, "What are you most excited about?" Because I didn't know there was gonna be a joust. I was so ill prepared for this. But you guys. You guys remember on stream on Thursday when I was like, oh shit, the Ren, you know, it, it's this weekend. Yeah, that was because I forgot the Ren Fair was this weekend and not, not, I thought it was going to be like this weekend, like this coming weekend, not last weekend. So I thought I still had a whole nother week to get ready and I did not. I did not have a whole nother week. I had this weekend. <laughs> so I didn't look at the website. I didn't look and see what events were there. I didn't, I was totally ill prepared for all that. So then I was like, they were like, what are you most excited to see? And I would have said the joust had I known there was a joust. But there was not, I did not know there was a joust. So I did not say the joust. I said the costumes. And there were some super fucking cool costumes. And I didn't take pictures of anybody in costume. No, I lied. I took a picture of one guy because I couldn't figure out what the hell he was. But you guys might know. But you guys might know. Let me see if I can. It's a cool ass costume. Let me see. Hold on. Let me get it up. You guys might know. I feel like it's a Warhammer thing. I feel like he was a Warhammer cosplayer, but I, I don't know for sure. I don't know enough about Warhammer. Like, fantasy Warhammer. I want to say somebody from the Empire. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Give me a moment. You can't just start throwing names at me because I have no idea what the names of any of these people are. I think, yeah, like Warhammer Fantasy. Oh man, there's an angry old lady in the background. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Um, let's see. Oops. All right, possible Warhammer jump scare in three, two, one. Yes, now figure it out. Oh, oh no, come back. Oh no, come back. Please. There you go. That's not Cloud Stripe. I said that too at first though. It's like, that looks like Cloud Stripe in like Warhammer armor. It's not though. It's not Cloud Stripe. Do you guys, do you guys know who this is? I need to know. It, it bothered me. I could have just asked him, but I didn't because I'm a psycho and I don't, I'm a freak that takes pictures of people. When they're not paying attention. <laughs> That's not Warhammer. So you pick of the Emperor of Mankind going through a god. Oh yeah, the mace was really cool. I say fire emblem. Fire em that doesn't help. There's a hundred thousand characters in a fire emblem. Let me look here. I 
I don't know, that arm made me think Warhammer. Can't just be a dude in armor? I mean, maybe, but that hair do is very specific. That's a very specific costume. Like, that's a very specific costume. Let me look up Lan Grisser. Mm, I don't think it's Lan Grisser. That armor doesn't look at all like his armor. That face is mean potential. Do you guys want it? Here, wait. Can we, this poor lady. Here you go. You get shitty qualities. <laughs> Take it! Take it! She looked like she got flashbang. Dude, that's how it felt, though. It was so bright. It was so painfully bright. It hurt me. Like, I, we, I was getting so annoyed. We went to several shows and, like, they just, like, I always ended up in, like, direct path of the sun. And I'm like, why? Why do I always end up directly, like, the only spot there's no shade is, like, right where my face is. New goal unlocked. Go to Renfair wearing armor covered in mirrors. Holy shit. That's fucking brutal. Although some of the people's armors, like the knights from the joust, their armor was so shiny that, like, they they definitely blinded you when they walked by. Because you don't look at maps before. I don't think the map will tell me where the shade is. You get god rays. No, I don't want god rays. I want to see you. Watching a VTuber stream and everyone starts saying congrats and good job to me while it's on an ad and they're not talking about whatever it was anymore. Is this the end of Ava? Everyone's telling me congrats. I don't know what the fuck is going on. <laughs> That's my best joke. I've peaked, guys. I have to graduate now. That was, that was peak. We're done now. That was it. Trolling Hollow was peak. <laughs> we can't get any better than that. Honestly, you should be really glad you saw those jealous performances. I saw some other groups before and some of them suck. They don't put their heart into it. Oh, no, really? I will, uh, I'll post... Oh, dang. <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll post the video of them dying. Uh, later. I want to get it onto my computer and, like, clean it up and stuff first before I post it. How can I troll Bleach? He actually, he, like, how? See, the problem is you have to care, and Bleach doesn't care about anything. I'm looking at the run fair run here. It should be time for it soon. Let's go! More run fairs! It was very fun. Would highly recommend. It wasn't, I didn't spend as much money as I thought I would either. I, most of my money was spent on food. I didn't really buy any trinkets. Because everything was insanely expensive. Yeah. I was looking at clothes and like the cheapest clothes I found, I found was $85. And it was a tunic. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how people buy outfits there. I don't know how they afford that. Not in this economy, dude. They did have utility kilts. There was like three different utility kilt stalls there. Dang that person. I know, and it hurts me because I like... The problem is, I think, is because I know how to sew. It just triggers me even more because I'm like, I can buy this fucking fabric. Like, I was feeling the fabric. I'm like, I can buy the same fucking fabric at Joann's for three ninety nine dollars a yard. And it's probably like two... Maybe three yards. Maybe three. Maybe three. I could probably do it in two yards. And, like, tunics are, like, the simplest, the stupidest, simplest pattern known to mankind. Like, if you want to start sewing, if you guys ever want to, like, start sewing, you're like, where do I start? Like, basic-ass tunic. Boom. I'm still here. I, I was like, I'm still suffering, guys. Wouldn't feel right without him here. 
I spent 175 one year for a cowl and a cloak. I think I could handle that for a cowl and a cloak. Maybe. Was it cool as cowl and cloak or was it just like one color? Not go hard mode and start with leather. That's not the same. Sewing, sewing fabric and sewing leather are not remotely even close to the same thing. I bought a warden pipe from a stall at one of those fairs for like 50 bucks. You get the pipe, pipe cleaner and cleaning a multi-tool for a small bag of your choice of tobacco. I'm just saying you can buy pipe cleaners at the Dollar Tree and they're multicolored and it's like a pack of 50. Double-sided gray black with both. Yeah, no, see, I think that one would be okay. I think that would be a purchase. That, was it wool? Is it wool? Or is it like, what is it? Leather requires punching the holster. Yeah, and you have to, uh, you have to like do the edging, and you have to, you have to score everything, and it's way more expensive if you fuck up. I've made pouches and belts with leather, and I, I, I don't know how I feel about leather. I've made bookmarks too with leather. Edging, you say? Dang! Wow! Shocker! Bleach is the one that picked up on that. Pouches pouches p -p -p pouch it's wool okay yeah no that's see that's worth it wool wool is expensive that's that's worth it is it floor length it just keeps getting better i had a wool sweater and it was waterproof i have a wool sweatshirt you can upholster couches how fancy no pouches yeah oh it's so cool so cool, totally worth it. Your next challenge, oh no, I already read, no, no, no. The next challenge is to work the word gooning in there somewhere. I would love to learn how to do this stuff, but I don't have room for that kind of stuff in an apartment. I mean like, so like if you really, like if you really wanted to learn leather working, you could very easily learn leather working. You don't need a whole bunch of shit. Just go to your local arts and crafts store. They're gonna have cheap ass leather there in small quantities, make a couple small pouches, See if you like it. If you don't like it, you're out 20 bucks. If you do like it, then you can start deciding if you really want to rearrange your life for leather working. Dollar Bill, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the meat hall. Thank you, thank you. It's that cheap? Yeah, like the shit you get at Hobby Lobby, super cheap. Now, granted, it's very thin wool, or wool, very thin leather. You're not going to be making armor out of it, but it's a great place. It's a great place to start. Like, you want to start there. Leather, punch, mallet, and strong strike. I, yeah, I mean, I would just get, like, the the corded or the waxed. Make sure you get the waxed um, cord. Don't get the unwaxed. Just get the waxed cord. Yeah, wax. Hey there, shield maiden. Hello, dollar bill. Waxed cord, yeah. Now, if you want to do tooling, I don't know if... I don't know. Well, if you want to do tooling, why are my eyes doing that? If you wanted to do tooling, I would suggest getting one of the leather straps. You can't tool on suede. You need to have hard leather. Um, but they do have like belt blanks there. And those are, again, those are like cheap. And you can tool on those. And then that's a good spot to practice on. Wax bow thread works great for leather work. Yeah, yeah you definitely want wax. I, uh, my first round of bookmarks, I cheaped out and I did not buy the wax cord and I wanted to rip my hair out because it just kept getting stuck. It was not fun saddle stitching that at all. But guys, Otter is going to learn leather working. So if you need any kind of leather working, saddle repair, armor making, please, uh, DM Otter. Preferably between the hours of two and three in the morning. Leather is dope. You can make a cannon out of it. Can he patch my wife? I have so many questions and I don't know if I want any answers to them. If he otters in hospice care, he needs to sleep. Otter will become the greatest leather smith. Yeah, make a scabbard. Except for Otter doesn't know how to work with wood. That's beaver's thing. So you're going to have to go to Beaver first to get the inset of the scabbard. And then you got to take that to Otter. 
and then he can make the leathery bits. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta go to Beaver first. <laughs> Yo, Beaver! <laughs> if you guys need a wooden tanker, wooden bowls, wooden signs, wooden doors, wooden nails, you gotta go to Beaver for that. Look, guys. Welcome to VC Animal Euporium. We got beavers. We got otters. Uh, I got... Is that all I got? Well, we had a goose, but the goose left. Um, I don't know. Did we, I think, any of you else into, like, sea creature shit? What, any of you? No, not really. We have a cat. Meow Mix is kind of a cat. That's not really water. That's like the opposite of water. What happened to Goose? He ran off crying. He didn't make it. Love the supporting of the homies in here. I love supporting people. I'm an I'm an element close enough. There you go. Kiwi is a shrimp. Okay, we got a shrimp. Let's go. We have a very shrimple system here, guys. It's a shrimple system. Now there's ammonia people pee in it. Oh, there we go. I don't think ammonia is here today. If he is, the lad is lurking. He's a lurking lad. Car patterns belong in the ocean camera. Shrimping is permitted. Wait. Is shrimping not something? Is sh I was trying to make a pun off of simple. Like shrimple. What are you talking about, Sith? Guys, what is shrimping? Why is chat incredibly quiet now when I ask what shrimping is? Please don't Google it. Someone has to tell me or I'm going to Google it. The posture thing? <laughs> Why is no one telling me? If I cut to an ad, will you guys... If I cut to an ad, will you guys tell me when I can't see it? <laughs> I'm going to Google it. Nope. Nope. You guys won't tell me. I'm going to Google it. The activity or occupation of fishing for shrimp. Why are you guys so weird? Hell, if I know, I'm just saving for a free commission now, cheeky smiley oh, face. Jesus. How many of you have free commissions? I'm, I'm going to have the most commissions I've ever had in my entire life soon, and I'm not going to have any money to show for any of them. I'm waiting for it. I'm super close. Dear God. Dear God. I'm almost at 150. <laughs> oh my God, you guys, what the fuck? <laughs> I need to have more things. <laughs> No, Commissar, no! Just letting you guys know now. I'm just letting you guys know now. It was stated in the beginning when I first added it, but it will remind you. It's not for any commission you want. It is for, like, a simple, you know, like, scab type commission, okay? Okay? I cannot do a VTuber model for 200 V-points. Speaking of commission stuff, I had a question, but it involves a DM. Uh, like a direct message or a dungeon master? Because I technically have both of those. Hey. Can I give my points to Kami? No. And I meant a message. Okay. Um, you can DM me on VGen if it involves a commission. Um, if you DM me to talk, though, I will ignore you. <laughs> it's just that simple. Excuse me, that's 200,000 V-Bucks. I had to rebuild after you left Twitch again. No! No! He had to rebuild. Well, on that note, I'm not streaming at all in August, so Kami will never get his free commission. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah. Actually, guys, I'm moving to YouTube now. So we're going to end the stream right now. We'll pick it back up on YouTube. And then we will uh, we'll just continue on YouTube for the rest of forever. It'll be fine. <laughs> She'll be back. She always is. <laughs> she always is. I feel like Twitch is like a little bit of a, like an abusive relationship where like I keep trying to leave and I keep coming back. Oh my god, you guys. YouTube's not that bad. That place is for the boys. I thought that was Kick. I thought Kick was for the boys. You know how- <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> He's gonna do that now every time I say something he doesn't like. Every time. V switching to Od Odyssey? What the heck is Odyssey? I've never even heard of that. Here goes for people filming themselves committing crimes live and pedo. It's true. New content on the portals. Join the explorer. What even is this? I've never even seen this before. When French people visit Germany? Is this YouTube? Is this like YouTube? What is this? It's a commissar trademark. There's like two guys that stream on YouTube I watch maybe usually at work. Oh, I see. Oil paint workshop. Odyssey is basically old YouTube before the filters. Oh. Are there ads? Trying an open shirts and crazy looks. Jesus. Try on dresses. The magic of light and transparency. This lady is just straight up showing her vagoo. Now we know why Otter's on here. He's literally looking at this lady's vagoo. Jeez. No, I'm not going to share the URL. I saw that on Facebook once and I reported it. <laughs> I like how there's people just like working out and then there's like, there's like people playing video games and then it's just like a vagoo lady and then video captures 15 year old girl getting sucker punched during OC bat. What the heck is this place? I don't want to be on here. That's that place is that's too wild west for me, sir. No, I'm not linking Vagoo, you perverts. Go find Vagoo on your own. Go find your own Vagoo. You cannot have any of mine. Vagoo is not for you. <laughs> no Vagoo. I cannot believe this. I heard there was a hub for th since bombs and Baku. Oh, no. I can't believe I looked at that on my browser. That's going to be on my browser now. Ugh. Thanks, Otter. Finding Vagu on its own is boring. There's 70 billion hits when I search. I feel like the Vagu business is heavily saturated. <laughs> Apparently my wife has never heard of the term Vagoo before now. Well, that's because that's a V-branded word. I created that word all by myself. I take credit. I coined that phrase. Vagoo is mine. It's sometimes... No, I'm not making the joke. <laughs> I'm not going to make the joke. Yeah, you can tell by the way it starts with a V. It's a V-goo sometimes. <laughs> I made the joke anyway. Who is Mr. Magoo? Buddha, I swear to God, you were like 80 years old. I put the arc in there. V open it. I am blameless. I remember Mr. Magoo. No posting links in chat. You can tell by the way that it is. Destroy him. 
I, you know, I'm glad I didn't pick Bleach as, as a mod. He's got too much power. It's just too much. All right. I'm going to look at horsey pictures, guys. What the hell is Mr. Magoo? The fuck is that? Is that? Oh, Leslie Neeson. This this Mr. Magoo guy looks like he should be played by Bill Murray if they ever did like a real life like a a real life version of it. The character from a comedy movie. This looks like an incredibly old cartoon. An incredibly old and offensive nowadays type cartoon. Think Mr. Bean but blind? Oh no. So he's just a knockoff Mr. Bean. Pure Bean. It's like offensive like in old cartoon. You know like how the old Mickey Mouse cartoons were? It's not offensive. No, nah, no, I saw the I saw the drawing of a Chinese girl. Okay, that was that would be labeled offensive nowadays. Oh, that guy. I know his face. Back then, they would have called her an oriental girl. Yeah, that's true. That's why I go to Odyssey. More like finding his way in and out of various situations while blind and being completely unaware of them. To be fair, what isn't offensive nowadays? That's true. Ah! Hold on, I'm gonna go grab my water. I'll be right back. I don't feel like I like fully recovered from being dehydrated yet and I've like well now since I've been home I've been drinking coffee every day all the day every hour so all right hold on now I'm all messed up again because I'm sitting up balk Back, 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 back. Oh, I just got a good idea. I can't tell you guys yet. Guys, by the way, actually, I'm just going to announce it now. Hold on, give me one second. August. August 13th. Save the date. August 13th. Do not have another event on August 13th. Guys. It will be my four-year streaming anniversary. Well, four-year affiliate anniversary. Do not... Do not have another event. There will be a hot tub stream, and there will be a swimsuit involved. And I don't think your sister's getting married on a, a Tuesday. And there will be community games. There will be a merch drop. I have another event on the 13th. You're kidding me. Is it a work event? Community games. There's something else. Oh, I'm going to be dropping a couple more emotes. I'm actually not lying. She's actually not lying. I scheduled. You guys are dicks. <laughs> if I show up and there's nobody there, I will cry. I will cry. So what swimsuit? Bikini V or the one piece? Yeah, wow, Otter, you would ask that. Crying in the hot tub. Yep, I'll cry right in the hot tub. But yeah, we'll do community games. Um, TF oh, the face went I've been set for two weeks longer. I think it's just because it goes by the month. Try my best to make it. 
Um, I'm going to try to start an hour earlier, I think, is the plan. Um, I, I'm going to try to start an hour earlier, so it would be, it would be 8 p.m. Eastern. Uh, I, it depends if twerk lets me do that, but we'll see. It's, it's a Tuesday. It's not a Friday. Okay, it's okay. I'll make my mom watch the funny. Yeah, I can be like, hi, mom. Um, but yes, there is a merch shop. I will give you guys a hint. Um, do you guys remember for the Veterans Day charity donathon how you guys hit the Tactical V merch? You remember you guys how how you how you guys hit that? So it might be, it might be, it might be V. It might be me with an RK sixty two. It might be, perhaps. I want to give you guys like a little teaser. I want to give you guys a. Can I give you guys a teaser? Can I do that? But I'm pretty sure you were there, like giving me like a play by play on how to beat Metal Wolf Chaos. Let me see if I can give you guys a teaser for a minute. Just for a minute. Just for a moment. Just a little. Well, it's not staying. It's not staying. I'm giving you guys a little teaser though. Quick, put it in a glass of water. No. Yeah, see, Kami knows what's going on. Um, let me find it. Give me a moment. I gotta hunt down the... What day? It's, it's that Tuesday. Um... Damn, what am I doing? March, there we go. Let's see. Just for a moment. Are you guys ready? You guys ready? Am I the only one that feels like a Valkyrie with a gun needs to have a bayonet? No. All right, all right, here it comes, here it comes, here it comes. <gasps> and it's gone. It's just that fast. It's just that fast. It's just that fast. Ayo! Twenty bots and one shy Swede. Uh, yep. So there will be hoodies, uh, shirts, keychains, standy, uh, mugs, base to mega base. I drew it myself. Actually, Hollow helped me with the art. <laughs> Are the hoodies gonna smell like just your hoodie specifically? Like when I, I, so what happens when I make, when I do the merch, when I get all the merch set up bleaches, I go, I type in, I send them an email, I go, hey, if you get an, if you get a, an order from this guy, this is his address, this is his name, and he orders a hoodie, make sure to piss on it first before you put it in the bag. That's what I do every time. That's, that's how I show I care. So some random dude just takes care of that for me. They keep an eye out for you. I appreciate the effort. Yep, I send one email. That's all it takes. They are not going to be wool hoodies. What size mug? 12 ounce always. Wait, is it 12 ounces? 12 or 16? The big one. Always big mug. Never small mug. Okay, I think it's a 16 ounce. Hold on. Oh, yeah, 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 16 ounce. 16 ounce. Always big. Always big mug. We don't do little mug. We do big mug. Big mug good. Small mug bad. Also, I didn't help that much. I need... I was struggling with that boot, man. I was crying in the club. What? No, I... Why would I use my... No, like, literally, it's just some random dude that's at the warehouse that day. Like, I don't piss on stuff. That's not my job. Always, always big mug. Um, I'm trying... I'm trying really hard to do the shakers. I don't think we're going to be able to do shakers, though. No steel. People have been asking Fubi to piss on their stuff, though, too. So. Sounds like a job for ramen. Oh, God. Hold on, I'm looking. I'm thinking. I'm trying really hard to do the shakers, but I don't think we're going to be able to do the shaker, the shaker cups. Small mugs so you can extend the pinky while taking a sippy. Yeah. Yeah. 
I'm also trying to figure out if I want to do like a water bottle that's like kind of like a Yeti shape or a, or a Stanley shape, a Stanley shape, or if we want to do like a plastic Camelback type water bottle or like the the ones that have like the lid with the straw that look like a like a soda cup. Or the or like the one we had last time. I I'm kind of thinking. I don't know. Do people like the big Stanley ones? V brand Camelbacks, yes. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, we can do like the ones where it's like a stainless steel water bottle with like a little sippy drink top. You guys don't know what the fuck I'm talking about, but I promise you. Actually, I think we'll do that one. I like that one. Oh, we can get V-branded flip-flops. Hell yeah. I drink out of a jar. I also drink out of a jar, actually. Jar buddies! But yeah, then we'll have your standard hoodies and standard t-shirt type deals. Um, I don't think we're going to do a hat this time, though. Um, but the the hoodies and the cups and the mugs and stuff, that will come to you directly um, from fourth wall. Oops. From fourth wall. So when you guys order them, they will be printed, they will be packed, they will be shipped right away. Um, the standees and keychains are coming from me. So those are pre-ordered. So you will get those separately from like the hoodies and the cups and mugs and stuff again like last time when we did like the battle ready stuff so because fourth wall doesn't do standees because they're for normal people normal people so yeah we could do a v backpack so you don't have to wait for me to get your apparel They do not come with RGB lighting, but feel free to stick them in your uh, computer case if they fit. Remember all the international orders? Yes, I do have a way to ship slightly more internationally now. Um, to select countries. Only has a laptop. Stick me in there anyway, I'll be fine. I'll be fine. <laughs> I'm trying to think. Um, yeah, so was it UK I can ship to, uh, Australia I can ship to, Canada I can ship to, um, I want to say there was another country. Let me look. I cannot ship to Germany, so I'm sorry if I have any German viewers watching at the moment. Cannot ship to Germany. Um, oh, yeah. Okay, it was Australia, Canada, and United Kingdom. So. so it's sort of more international than last time, so that's neat. I think that's fun. <laughs> British. British. Yeah, it's, it's, um, going to other countries is incredibly difficult because of their, like, import receiving laws. Germany is specifically horrible. Um, Finland is also really bad, I found out. <laughs> if the country starts with the word democratic, I'm going to guess no shipping. Probably not. Like, to, but, uh, like, unfortunately, shipp shipping is going to be more expensive, unfortunately, but the bright side is, like, your sweaters and your sweatshirts and stuff, like, that you'll get cheaper, if you're international, you'll get cheaper shipping on, um, because of how fourth wall works, which is why I go fourth wall and not just, like, do all that stuff myself, um, because it's cheaper for everybody, um, 
But yeah, so I, I can't get cheaper international pricing now than I used to be able to. Uh, but yeah. I have a question about your social media circle when you're up to answering. I can answer it right now. What is this contraband dog off? Yeah, well, like, like they'll, they'll, like, send your shit back if it's, um, like, not the right color. Germany's whack. Did FBI Chan get zucked? Oh, you're so icy. Um... You'd have to talk to her about that. I don't, uh, I just know the page is gone. I don't have, I don't actually have a lot of details about that, to be completely honest with you guys. Whatever, whatever she said is what happened. Yeah, FBI Chan's not on Facebook right now. She's still on Twitter, though. How bad is the shipping cost? Like, just bulk order, don't wait on paychecks? Um... It depends. So, like, um, let me think. I think the last time I shipped, I shipped prints to the UK a couple months ago, and it ended up being $27 in shipping costs. Um, and that was a smaller package. Does my model have a cheek puff? Uh, sort of. I don't have the official, like, V-Bridger cheek puff, but I do have this. Um... I have, this is the closest I have. This is what I have to work with. So. Explains the lack of water bouldering on my feet. Yeah. She has joined the barracoon. Oh, maybe her and barracoon went off together. <laughs> maybe, maybe they went off together and they had their bear babies and that's why she disappeared from Facebook. That would make a lot of sense. Actually, that maybe, maybe that's what it is. Hello, Valkyrie's kids. Hello. Bear babies. Yeah, you know, like when a mama bear and a dad a bear love each other very much. You know, they have bear babies. That's what happens. You have bear babies. Bang swish. The stork did not survive. Bear Babs. Oh my god, guys, please. Please do not take this as some kind of weird indication that Booby is pregnant, though. That is not what I meant at all. So please do not twist it like that. She will actually murder me. I will get waterboarded to death. No, yeah, there you go. I, I was, like, debating about saying anything. Because I was like, if I say something, that's just going to draw attention to it. But then I feel like I should address it. Just in case, like, one or two people get smart or they're actually too stupid to realize it was a joke. You have an emote for Fubi being pregnant? Pregnant is Pooby? Oh my god, Pooby. You have a full pregante Fubi emote? What the fuck? What? What? Oh, that's shrimping. I see. Oh, that's right. I made that. That's right. That was me. Yeah, that was me. I did that. I forgot that that happened. It was very good art. I don't have the actual art anymore, though. It was, it was, uh, it was a good drawing. It's very well crafted. Yeah. A lot of people apparently blocked it out of their minds. <laughs> oh, no. No, 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 no. Guys, you will literally get me murdered. Please, I'm banging you. <laughs> Cursed. Oh, yeah. But, um... Let's see, an ad starts in about six minutes, and I don't want to, I don't want to end it on an ad, so. No, Otter, I'm being serious right now. Repressed memories are real. It's so true! 
Dang, for once she's not watching. We're talking about her and she's not watching. That's whack, dude. I feel like Fubi is in favor of the- She's in favor of the spread of information about other people. Other people. Now I have to go tell her what I did so that I'm the first person that told her and not somebody else. <laughs> oh, but on that note, I think we're going to wrap up this stream because I have been here for over two hours and I talked about the horses and the run fair. Um, Tuesday... We are playing, yeah, here, Ed. Tuesday, we are playing Stardew Valley, which I'm excited to start. Everyone and their mother has been trying to tell me to play it for like four years, and I haven't touched it. So I figured now's the time since it was on um, Steam Summer Sale. Yeah. And we all cheer on Hollow. Yeah. Yeah. See, see, Bleach is doing it right now. I'm glad you enjoyed the Red Fair adjusting stuff. It was great. Yeah, it was so cool to watch. It was very cool. <laughs> but thank you guys so much for coming thank you so much for hanging out with me i will see you on tuesday and remember august 13th save the date save the date or you will miss the hot tub valkyrie so thank you so much for coming and have a wonderful night and bye, -bye.